Richland police say they've gotten more than two dozen reports of people trying to or succeeding in stealing Kias and Hyundais in the region so far this month. Now, years ago, you might hope to get a stolen vehicle back with nothing more than a few dings. Now there's danger that you might not even recognize until it's too late. It's a story you'll only see on Apple Valley News Now. I test anywhere between 10 to 15 to 20 vehicles a week. 90 Eight percent of the vehicles I test all test positive. Biomanagement Northwest owner John Stavros says he first found fentanyl in a vehicle while testing a stolen truck in Kennewick about two and a half years ago. There was a white powdery residue in a crew cab pickup truck. What they were doing is they had laid out fentanyl and probably meth together and they were mixing the two on the back seat and I started noticing a trend from uh, Portland going up the I-5 corridor and now it's just everywhere. Everywhere is right. Clearwater Collision and towing manager Colton Dean says nine out of 10 cars they've tested in the past three years have come back positive for fentanyl and meth. One of the things that we wish people knew is that is that there's just a high chance that there's drugs on the inside. We've had cars that have been stolen for one day and it's tested positive for fentanyl. We've had vehicles that have been stolen for three weeks and it, it, it tested positive. So sometimes it's hard to see when there's actually fentanyl on the inside. Fentanyl is extremely dangerous. A dose the size of a few grains of salt can be deadly, especially if you don't realize that you've been exposed. I've had customers that have actually gotten their vehicles out of impound, drove it out, were, you know, ecstatic to get the vehicle back, made it back as far back as their driveway, their house, and passed out. We have no idea what the levels are of purity of fentanyl are in these vehicles. I've seen ones that came back that were extremely high and um, that you didn't see any residue. Testing can take a few days, and while insurance often covers the cost, you might have to file some extra paperwork or ask specifically for your vehicle to be tested. But both Stavros and Dean say the extra step is critical. The big thing I want to emphasize again <clears throat> is for people, if they get their vehicle back, not to get in the vehicle. Don't get in it. Don't get in the vehicle. Don't get in it. So don't get in the vehicle. So it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth going inside the car. It's not worth seeing what's in there, what's not in there, checking the glove box. It's not, it's not worth going inside the vehicle, no matter what the circumstances is, until it gets tested for those drugs.